Okay, once you've got your cyclic servos all dialed in, ready to go, and your swash plates moving the way you want it to move, you're going to have to set up the uh, tail servo. Um, aside from how it's built and everything, once you get it all hooked up and ready to go, and you want to set it up for the correct way, uh, plug it in. Uh, just the servo to start out by itself into the rudder channel and see how it reacts. Uh, what you want for a T-Rex helicopter, you're going to want it to go the opposite direction of what you turn. So if you turn the left, you want the slider to go right. So this is actually the wrong direction. It's going the same direction as I'm turning the rudder. Uh, so that's not what I want. Also, the leading edge of the blade is supposed to go the opposite way. Uh, some helicopters are going to be different, so uh, it might not be the tail slider. So I'm going to need to go in here and change the channel for my rudder, which is here. Change that. It's reversed. Come back here, check it out. See if it's now going the opposite. Good. So the leading edge is now going to the opposite direction. I'd give it right rudder. Leading edge goes left, and so does the slider. So now we know it's going the correct direction. Next thing you're going to want to do is set it up with your gyro. Uh, right now what I've got is a uh, GP780 gyro right here. And it's... Uh, the way it's set up, there's a single button on there. And in order to get into setup mode, you have to hold down that button. And then the LED, the status LED will start flashing. And then there's a set of menus. It'll start off with the first option, go to the second option, third option fourth option, fifth option, keep going on there and see when you see the status LED you go left, turns green, right on the rudder, turns red so there's different selections for each one and you want to make sure it's set up for the right servo uh, everything you know is, is correct. This is the menu that you see on it actually. We've got the status LED and it's either red or green. First option, you know, we're going to have the speed, the timing of the servo. Uh, most of them are going to be 1520. There are some servos that are faster that go 760. Uh, so make sure you know which kind of servo you're using and which setting you need for this. Digital servo or analog servo. Most people these days are using digital, so leave that green. Normal or reverse. This is going to have an effect on which direction it compensates. So what you want is uh, for the gyro in there to make it respond to your tail going one way or the other. So in order to set up the gyro, You're going to come here to the gyro sense menu, and in the gyro sense menu, up here, change this to auto, and you can set up your different modes here. Uh, you can have zero and one, like if you want to change between heading hold and rate mode or something for normal and stunt. I use heading hold uh, pretty much all the time, but uh, some, some guys will like rate mode. Uh, so anything above 50% is going to be heading hold mode. Anything below 50% is going to be in rate mode. So I'm going to put it in heading hold mode. Good place to start out. I put it at 65%, which is, you know, 30% gain because it's 50 to 100 is the 0 to 100% for um, head holding mode. So going up 15 points is actually about 30%. So 30% gain just to start out, just to test it. 
uh, after you do some test flights you might want a different mode or different number what I do is usually for stunt mode I go a little bit under what I have for normal mode do like two points usually uh, you've got normal stunt if you have a when you have your throttle hold set up um, that will be in here too and you can pick, pick whether you want it to be in you know this percentage or this percentage of gain so right now normal mode is going to be in 0 65 percent stunt mode is going to be in 1 63 percent it's uh, pretty basic there now that we're in heading hold mode we're going to look here and you try to pull the tail one way and you see which way it goes see how the slider is going the opposite direction that's exactly what I want it makes the leading edge of the tail blades go into Maybe it's hard to see just the way it's sliding, but it compensates for the torque and holds the head in place. If you are moving it one direction and you see the slider going the same direction that you're pushing it, then you're going to want to change this right here. If it's normal or reverse, whatever it is, it's got to be the opposite. So make sure it's compensating in the correct direction, or once you spin it up, it's going to spin like crazy because it's going to compensate in the same direction uh, as the torque. Okay, so now that you know which is normal and reverse, we'll do a sample setup here. Uh, we've got a 1520 speed on this servo. It's a JR290G. Great little servo. Hold. So now we're in setup. Uh, it's already flashing green for the speed, so that's correct. And go to the next one. Uh, digital or analog servo. It is digital servo, which is green, so that's correct. Next part, normal reverse. We already showed that it was going the correct direction. So we're going to leave that red, reversed. Limit. So setting your limit. What you want to do is go to the limit setting, and then you want to go all the way to the left and push that thing out almost to where the slider goes to the end, almost to where it's touching, and then back it out just a little bit. back it out just a little bit okay so it doesn't bind and then you'll see the uh, the status LED eventually is going to start blinking another color okay and then after that you go to the other side go to the end and then pull it back a little bit back it out and then the status LED will flash green It'll flash red to confirm. Okay, so that's showing limits. It'll uh, show the servo limits and how far it's going to go in one direction or the other. Uh, it looks like I slipped out of programming mode. So I'm going to have to go back into programming mode. So we're correct there on the speed digital servo, we've got the direction correct, the limit is set, and delay. For the delay, if it's a small helicopter, like a 250 or a 450, it'll be, you want it on red. If it's, you know, 500, maybe sometimes on red, but 550, 600, 700, you'll want it on green. And we slipped out of programming mode again. But when you're on the delay, what you do is, uh, one side is going to be, you know, red, and then one side is going to be green. And when you get out of the delay setting, you'll have, say, 
uh, for example, this is, you know, red. This is zero and a hundred delay that you can add in there. So if you want 50%, you just go halfway between, you know, mid stick and the end point. That'll be 50% delay. And then you press the button to get out of programming mode. That's just the basics of the GP780. Uh, so you want to make sure in the end you have the servo going the correct direction. So left makes it go, makes the leading edge in the slider for a T-Rex go the opposite direction. So you want to go the opposite direction. This is correct. You want to make sure it hits, you know, the endpoints that you set in your limits. And you want to make sure that when you move the tail that it goes the opposite direction as well. So I move it right, tail pitch slider goes left. I move it left, tail pitch slider starts going right. Yeah, responds better going left. But. So, you move it one way, you want the tail pitch slider going the other way. Same as with the stick. And just for test, make sure you're checking the leading edge. Line helicopters is the tail pitch slider, but like I had a compass and it was uh, the opposite. So you have to pay attention to the leading edge. You know, if you push this left, leading edge goes right, and that's going to push the tail left. 